kind of loosen them up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and loosen them up a little bit. Let me see. Let me see. It's a little bit better. Been sitting all that time. Get the blood circulating. It's taken a century for Mamie Kirkland to return to Ellisville, Mississippi, <laughs> the place where she was born. Look and see that see from my grandfather. Ms. Kirkland is 107 years old. Physically, she is able to travel. Emotionally, though, she needed the support of her family to come back here. Okay. Yo, thank you. Her son, her daughter, a friend who recorded this video, all so that they will remember this story of why Ms. Kirkland left Mississippi in the first place 100 years ago. My dad come home that night from work and he told my mother to get ready. There was a rumor burning through town that her father, Edward Lang, and another man, John Hartfield, were about to be lynched. Mother got all five of us children together. My baby sister was nursing. Mm -hmm. All five got the train that morning, going to East St. Louis, Illinois. Okay. East St. Louis at that time was a place to go. It was. Mm -hmm. The family fled, but her father's friend, John Hartfield, eventually returned, only to die in one of the most notorious lynchings in American history. Her relationship to John Hartfield is that her father knew this man and had warned him not to come back. Okay. But he did come back mm. and was accused of assaulting a, um, a white woman. A white woman, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they, um, they shot him, yeah. uh, mortally wounded him, and kept him alive overnight so they could lynch him the next day. Right. An estimated 10,000 spectators flocked into Ellisville. Some took body parts as souvenirs. There were even postcards. So, you know, all of these years we've tried to get her to come back, but, mm -hmm. you know, that, mm -hmm. that story is one of well, the things that's that something hard her. to come back to. Yeah. I mean, yeah. with that kind of thing in your mind, yeah. can't say that I blame her. <laughs> 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 In the Ellisville of today, there is no marker commemorating the lynching. So we stand against that, and we stand strongly against Ms. Kirkland, along with some friends and family members, bowed their heads in reflection at the approximate spot where John Hartfield was lynched. So I want to pour a little libation here for John Hartfield. And this is for all those others who suffered a similar fate. And this is to water the spirit of all those who are still standing, who are standing tall and strong uh, against this violence. Ashe. Finally, though, she gathered the courage and the curiosity to see how much Ellisville had changed in a century. We have a meeting with the mayor. She was greeted warmly by several of its residents, including its mayor, Tim Waltrip. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's great to, to have you with us. Well, thank you. I'm great, great, great for you visiting your, your old home place where you were born and, and, right. and not reared, but born and stayed a while. Yeah. Yes. But, but that's a, uh, uh, and, and of course, a lot of things have changed since, since you were here. Uh, oh, yeah. With the way people are and the way we get along with everybody, and everybody here gets along pretty well, I think. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I appreciate you. Nice to see you. you. Yes, ma'am. It was so good to see you. Yeah, thank you. And you're welcome anytime. Thank you. Any, Anywhere you want to go. Mamie Kirkland, formerly of Ellisville, Mississippi, would eventually marry, settle in Buffalo, New York, and raise a large family. <laughs>